That's a very good evening to you guys and you're welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the micro anatomy of testes. Right. So what do you understand by micro anatomy? Micro anatomy is more of like, okay, uh, we spoke briefly on the testes when we were talking about reproductive physiology. All right. Uh, where we just um, said that, okay, the spermatogenesis happens in the testes, blah, blah, blah. It's just, it was a brief one. Okay, we didn't talk about the structure of testes and all those micro informations. Okay, so talking about microanatomy is like going deep to the small details that people feel should be neglected. Okay, but as a medical student, every detail is important, however. Okay, so our question today is I'll briefly discuss the microanatomy of the testes. You can spell it testes or testes. All right. I think one is American, one is British. I don't know why those guys be, be beefing on um, 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 spellings, though, okay? So one is British, one is uh, America, okay? So you can use, I don't know, I don't know, bro. I don't know which one, but I always use this one, okay? So this is a test is, and um, I would like you guys to note out uh, the tunica vaginalis, which is the outermost portion of the test is. Notice the tunica albuginea, which is the middle part of the testis. Then inside the testis is what we call tunica vasculosa. Okay, so note these three portions. These are the micro informations about the testis. Okay, the testis itself is a very dense fibrous connective tissue capsule. Okay, and uh, the tunica albuginea uh, sends posteriorly a vertical septum called the mediastinum testis. Um, tunica albuginea, all right, um, sent posteriorly. Okay, this is the septum, right? This is the septum. Okay. And, um, this is the septum. Let me see if I have any image that is showing that uh, properly. Okay. Sent posteriorly. All right. Okay, this is the septum. Okay, and this septum is from tunica albuginea. Okay, so the tunica albuginea sends posteriorly a vertical septum called the mediastinum testis. Okay, so internal to the tunica albuginea is the tunica vasculosa, and the tunica vasculosa is of rich areolar tissue and it is highly vascularized. Okay. So this is just like an uh, embroidered image. They are not showing the blood vessels and all that, okay? But just know that um, it is highly vascularized, okay? That's a tunica vasculosa. Uh, that's the innermost one. Then how about external to the tunica albuginea? Since we said that the tunica albuginea is the mid part, okay? External to the tunica albuginea is the tunica vaginalis, okay? And the tunica vaginalis has the parietal and the visceral layers, okay? As the outermost one should be the parietal, the one engulfing the testis, okay? Should be the visceral layer, okay? So uh, the tunica vaginalis is a serosal lining derived from peritoneum. Um, the tunica vaginalis contain myocyte and fibroblast, okay? And um, tunica vaginalis, uh, since it has all these uh, muscle cells, okay, that's myocytes, it contracts, okay? So it contracts redemically, okay? And you could see that when you are sexually aroused, okay? So that's it about the microanatomy of the testis. Talking about the layers of the testis, that's the um, tunica uh, vaginalis, the outermost tunica albuginea, and tunica vasculosa, okay? So everything, see you guys in the next tutorial.